Happy Countdown, and we've gotten up to number four. Drum roll, please. The 1972 film Pink Flamingos by the Pope of Trash himself, John Waters, one of my heroes. Some spoilers may occur, although I promise, pretty promise, that I'll do my best to avoid that. Thank you for joining me. I love John Waters, I'm a huge fan of his, and this movie's so great. I saw it when I was really young. I saw it when I was too young. Actually, I used to be traumatized by this movie. I saw it, I think, when I was a kid. The other movie I love by him is Cry Baby, but I love all his movies. But I saw Cry Baby, and so then, Cry Baby is fairly tame compared to this one. So then, when I was really young, somebody rented me this one. Um, thinking it would be probably in the same vein as Crybaby and then the, of course, the eating of shit and the kitchen and the chicken being crushed. I was so traumatized. I had nightmares about this movie. But then somehow over the years, those nightmares and trauma turned into abject <laughs> admiration. And now I actually have good memories of seeing Pink Flamingos. So this movie is, yeah, the epitome of trash. It's about a trashy family with a pink trailer, with pink flamingos, competing to be the filthiest people alive. And so the things in this movie are still shocking today. There's Cookie and Crackers have sex and crush a live chicken in between them. Infamously Divine eats a turd. They have um, Edith Massey in a playpen. They have an asshole that sings Serving Bird. They have a lesbian black market adoption ring. Like it just goes on and on and on. It's still... It's, and they're, cause they're all f competing to be the filthiest people alive. It's still quite shocking today and it's super great. Um, also, they look great despite themselves, even though they're trying not to, they do look great. So that's where the fashion icon comes in. Cause I think John Waters wanted Divine to be like a piss take of a 50s starlet. So she has the arched eyebrows, but like, like too arched, so arched that her hairline has to be shaved back. And the, I mean, I'm sure people know the poster for Pink Flamingos. It's so fantastic. It's like the iconic uh, picture of Divine that you see. So the quote and the war cry from this movie is, filth is my politics, filth is my life. If you've liked my film reviews, then please subscribe.